haul from, and you might hear the wind and stuff in the background. I've got a gate nearby that you can hear creaking. But this is my haul, and it's gonna last us nine days. It is, I think, 270 mils worth. So it's our family of 11, and Ellie is trying to uh, grab some things. But I will put at the end of this video the actual meals that I am going to be doing with all of this food. Thank you. Oh, thank you. And I will give you a disclaimer. We have meat that has sat in our freezer for a long time. So I already have some extra hamburger meat and chicken and things like that that I will be using for some of these meals. So, um, but I added about another $60 on top of what I paid here and I did the math and it's like $1.30 per person for nine weeks, or not nine weeks, nine days of meals of breakfast, lunch, and dinner, which is pretty good. So now I'll show you what I got, and if I can remember what I'm doing with it, I'll let you know, but check at the end of this video and you can get some ideas. All right, first of all, we have two things of Dave's Killer Bread. I either make bread myself or try to do gluten-free or organic. So um, this is for our Sloppy Joes. We're gonna have open face, oh, unless they wanna put one on a uh, piece on top. But we're going to have Sloppy Joe's actually tonight. We've got some hot sauce for our eggs. We're going to have eggs a couple of times. I ran out of this, and we're going to be having fajitas. So I use this to season our chicken. And this is also for our fajitas, the uh, medium taco sauce. We love coffee, and so we need half and half to put in our coffee. And then I have some honey here. I'm going to make a honey mustard salad with chicken on top. And so um, we were out of honey anyway, so that's what that is for. We're going to have two pancake breakfasts. So I just got this really big thing of maple syrup. That should definitely be enough for two breakfasts for us. We're out of ketchup, so I got one thing of ketchup. I don't think... Oh, yeah, we are. We're having um, hamburgers and fries one night, so actually that comes in handy. And then these bananas are, I'm making monkey sandwiches. Um, I'm gonna do homemade bread whenever I do it. And and Ellie's helping me. And so I got the, the bananas for the monkey sandwiches. We just have peanut butter with bananas on bread. It's actually really good. Or if they don't want that, they can just have the banana with peanut butter on it. So either way. And then we're having sloppy joes, like I said. So I got two things of mamwich to go with that. We're out of coffee, so I got some Sumatra ground coffee. All right, and then we're gonna have pizza quesadillas and then homemade pizza. So one day we're gonna have pizza quesadillas for lunch. I've made them a lot on this channel. They're very easy. And I just looked at the ingredients and this looked really good. So that's why I went for this one. It's a little bit more expensive, but not too bad. And, and we're also gonna be making homemade pizza. And so that's what this other jar is for. And uh, I got some of this. We're gonna have those fajitas, so we're gonna use the corn tortillas for it, and also for the pizza quesadillas. So that is enough for both. And then one of my lunches, I can't remember which one, but it called for, we're just gonna have pineapple chunks um, on the side with one of our lunches. And then we're gonna have apple fritters for breakfast. I'm gonna try some apple fritters. I've never made them before, but I have a pretty good idea how to. So I got two cans of this for that purpose and then to go on top of our bananas steven's favorite 100 percent peanut butter he hates this kind because you have no. to stir it <laughs> but i'm trying to avoid the soy oil that's in the other peanuts and the added sugar so it'll be okay he'll he'll be okay we're also going to have chicken on a beach so i got two of these queso blanco i'm sure that i butchered that but two of these to go basically chicken on a beach is when you uh, cook some chicken on top of the stove and you season it with some mexican seasoning and then i'm going to make mexican rice you put the chicken on top of the rice and you pour this on top it's actually really good all right and then i have two of these ham steaks i'm going to cut these up in little bitty cubes and i'm making one day for lunch Okay, so my husband's grandma, who passed away last year, no, the year before, um, she made this really good pasta salad. I will share it on future vlogs, so stay tuned. But anyways, you use ham in that recipe, so I made sure to get two things 
of this ham. We're also going to be having, um, I think I needed to make Italian dressing for a salad. I can't remember what this was for, but it's in my list. And I know that I needed it for something, so I bought it. Stay tuned at the end and we'll remember what it is. And then, of course, for the fajitas, we need some sweet peppers. So I got four of these green peppers for that purpose. And then for the pizza quesadillas, I hand shred everything now, or I can use my food processor. But I don't like the prepackaged things because they add antibiotics and wood pulp. I know it's crazy, but they do that so the, the pieces of cheese won't stick to each other. And it's just bothered our bellies, so I just do this, and plus it tastes better. So that's what these are for. This is for the pizza quesadillas and for the homemade pizza. These chunks are for that pasta salad that I was telling you about that has ham in it, that Stephen's grandma made all of the time. We're gonna have grilled cheese and tomato soup. So I got some cheese for that. We also put our cheese on our sloppy joe sandwiches. And so I got three things of that because I wasn't sure exactly how many slices uh, we would need. So we might have just a little bit extra. We're gonna have breakfast for dinner one night and so I needed two things of this uh, breakfast sausage so I can make the gravy with this and we're gonna have biscuits and gravy and eggs. Here's the pepperoni for the quesadillas and the homemade pizza. And for one lunch, we're gonna do macaroni and cheese and hot dogs. I haven't done that in a while. And then this is a lot. Uh, this is six things of, what is that called? Berry fruitful, I don't know. To me, it tastes like a Pop-Tart in a way. I mean, not exactly, but it's similar to a Pop-Tart. I love it, the kids seem to like it, so maybe we could either, it just depends on how hungry they are. We have a lot of people eating. So either we're gonna have two breakfasts out of this or three, it just depends, so. But we have the milk over there to go with the cereal. And then for some of the lunches, we needed some carrots and ranch. I make our own homemade ranch now. Again, I'm trying to avoid soy oil, so that's why I'm doing that. And so I have two bags of these carrots. I have two bags of these um, cucumber. One of them is going to be where you take sour cream, or no, cream cheese that I already have on hand, and you wrap meat around it, kind of like a pickle. It's really good, and that's gonna be with one of our quick, easy lunches. And this one was just for the cucumbers and ranch for another meal that I have. This uh, lettuce, it's organic lettuce, and it is going to be for our um, fajitas. I was like, trying to think of what it was for. One of these is for our macaroni and cheese and hot dogs. And I can't remember what the other one is for, but I know that I needed it for some, oh yeah, chili cheese fries, <laughs> that reminded me. So that's the melt and put on our um, fries. This is a freebie. My mom gave this to my husband and so it just happened to be put on the table. I did not buy this, um, but she gave that to him. And so yeah, I just showed you the fries. We're gonna have chili cheese fries. And for that salad that I was talking about that had the honey mustard, we're gonna try this. Um, it's cauliflower crust, it's gluten-free. We're just trying it. I got two of these, I figured I would bake this in the oven, cut it up and put it on top of the salad. We used to work at Dairy Queen and they had a really good honey mustard salad. So I'm trying to sort of recreate it. Hopefully this won't be disgusting, but I will let you know. And then also I forgot to tell you, I, ha I bought two things, ignore my messy table, but I got two things of water because we're starting up with ball and we need water to drink. And then uh, three of these packages, this is for the chicken in the beach and for the fajitas that I was telling you about. And so I got three things of this. Um, and I also have chicken, like I said, in my freezer and hamburger and stuff like that that I'll need for the chili and the, uh, the sloppy joes. One breakfast, we're gonna have blueberry muffins. So I got a thing of blueberries to put in there. I was almost out of olive oil and I need this to make our salad dressing. So got that. And then we love putting lemon in our water and so I just got two big things of lemon for that purpose. Also, I use this to make homemade mayonnaise with our eggs. And then this goes with one of our lunches, the cuties, and so does the oranges. We needed some face wash. And I think that's it. I got another thing of detergent, dish detergent. And my daughter said this isn't as good as Dawn as far as cleaning, but this will be our backup. So yes, this is all the food for nine days for our family of 11.